hello and welcome back to my podcast. My name is Emma and today we're going to be discussing the problems of climate change and what you can do to help the earth. Although there are factors of climate change that are beyond the control of humans, many of these issues stem from human behavior. There are many effects climate change has, including the air quality, the sea levels, and the wildlife. There have been numerous ways to combat climate change, including protests and even having world leaders come up with solutions. Because of the growing effects of climate change, it is our responsibility to write to our representatives to create laws and to prevent climate change from continuing to drastically affect the earth. To further understand this issue, I have reached down to scientists to better understand how climate change is affecting the sea levels and the air quality. A scientist who prefers to remain anonymous has agreed to come over and answer the questions that many of us have. Hi, thanks for taking your time to come and visit us. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. That's good. So I heard you specialize in researching how sea levels and air quality are being affected by climate change. Yeah, I work for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and the EPA. I am one of the researchers who collect data and send the information to those agencies. That's cool. So what can you tell me about how sea levels are being affected by climate change? Basically, the sea levels have been rising since 1880 and they've risen 8 to 9 inches. The rate is accelerating each year. Sea levels rising go hand in hand with air quality because the pollutants in the air contribute to atmospheric warming and this contributes to sea levels rising. Wow, I didn't know that. What is the history of sea levels and the air quality? The air quality has been melting the ice caps and this results in sea levels rising. Due to the increase of CO2 being released into the atmosphere, it is warming the planet because of the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect is when the sun's radiation enters the Earth's atmosphere and warms the planet. Instead of being reflected back into space, CO2 and other gases trap the heat, causing climate change. This causes sea levels to rise. What is the public's opinion from what you've seen? From what I've seen, the young people seem very concerned about Earth's climate. The younger generation seem to be aware that the ice caps are melting, causing the sea levels to rise, and that the air quality is getting worse due to pollution. They understand that they have a responsibility to keep fighting for laws to reduce emissions. Some people in the older generations seem to be in denial, but there are those who are in those generations that also care. What's your opinion as a researcher? As a researcher, I think that climate change is real and that we should do something about it before it's too late. Because of the rising sea levels, there are more hurricanes and this destroys many homes who live on the south coast of the United States. I agree. There is so much evidence suggesting how the rising sea levels and changes in the air quality have created wildfires in California and hurricanes near the coast. We should write to our representatives to create and enforce laws regarding climate change before it's too late. Okay, thank you for your time. You're welcome. As the air quality and sea levels are changing, this is affecting the animals too. According to Emma Maris, a journalist who writes articles for the National Geographic, a magazine that is committed to exploring and defending the planet, she explains how animals are adapting to warmer temperatures. Animals are able to adapt to climate change, but will they be able to adapt fast enough before they become extinct? I was able to get in touch with Emma, and although she was not able to come, she answered my questions through email. My first question to her was, how have many animals been affected by climate change? She responded by saying how animals were able to survive in moving to cooler habitats and changing their normal cycles to match the temperatures. According to a study, spring is shifting 1.7 days earlier, between 1954 and 2007. Because of this, birds have adapted by nesting earlier and plants are flowering and leafing earlier as well. Will all species be able to adapt quickly as to not become extinct? That is a little bit tricky to answer, she replied. Take fruit flies, for example. Adult female fruit flies lay about 2,000 eggs, and in 30 hours, those eggs begin to hatch. They are all grown up, and they are able to mate and lay eggs in two days. Because of this, they have more generations to adapt and evolve compared to a species that takes longer to fully mature and mate. The species with low genetic variability will have a hard time adapting as well, she added. Those species do not possess a variety of genes that will help them be able to adapt quicker, and this will put them at a disadvantage. My opinion? I think animals are being affected by climate change as much as the Earth is being affected. Because the Earth is changing, the animals have resorted to adapting to survive. If we can lower the emissions and reduce the effect of climate change, the animals will have a better chance of surviving, and there won't have to be any species to go extinct. It is our responsibility to reduce the effects of climate change. Although there are people who don't see how animals are being affected by climate change, 
Scientific research has shown that animals are evolving due to rising temperatures. Certain physical traits are being altered to fit the newer climate, but there will ultimately be animal species going extinct if we don't act fast. If we reduce the effects of climate change, the animals would have more time to adapt and the risk of going extinct would be greatly decreased. So, everything that we know so far, what have countries done about climate change? According to the Imperial College of London website, which is specialized in providing factual information regarding many different topics, the countries from all over the world have signed the Paris Agreement, which is a pledge to limit the increase in global warming below 2 degrees Celsius, with a goal to keep it to 1.5 degrees Celsius. 194 states and the European Union have signed this pledge, including the United States. The Paris Agreement goal is to reduce global warming internationally, with the UK leading the way. According to an analysis point of view, the UK should be the one to lower its emissions faster because they were the ones who were responsible for climate change in the first place. The UK is one of the largest per person contributors to present climate change, hence their reasoning that the UK should be more ambitious with their goals. From an environmental activist point of view, the Paris Agreement plan is a good solution. By being able to come together as many nations, there is so much more that can be done as a whole. The environment will be able to change for the better, and the animals will have more of a chance for survival. From my point of view, I believe that the Paris Agreement Act is beneficial as well. Many countries have come together to take a stand, and this will ultimately help reduce the effects of climate change. The statistics have shown that as the GDP increased, the rate of CO2 emissions have decreased in the UK alone. This shows that it is possible to make money while also taking care of the earth. The Paris Agreement is a very good solution towards taking the steps to fight against climate change and to help the Earth. We are responsible for the Earth changing due to climate change, so it is only right if we take the steps to reduce emissions to help reduce the effects of global warming. Although countries taking action is a huge step towards fighting against climate change, it is equally important to know what the people living in those countries are doing to educate others about the dangers of climate change. I was able to speak to Olivia Kisten, who is one of the authors of the article, 12 Important Moments in the History of Climate Action in Photos for the Global Citizen, an organization whose mission is to fight against climate change, amongst other serious issues going around in the world. Hi! Hi, thanks for inviting me here. Of course! Okay, so what moment do you think was the most important moment in the history of climate action? I think that the most important moment in the history of climate action was the first Earth Day held on April 22nd, 1970. The organizers' intentions were to raise awareness about pollution and toxic waste that was going on in the United States. That was a very important day because President Nixon signed Earth Day to be an official holiday. And because he did that, many people took this event seriously and collected trash to clean up the Earth. Other countries followed suit, and now 200 million people in 141 countries participate in Earth Day each year. Now, there are many more countries that are aware of climate change, and thanks to these protesters, Earth Day is now a well-known holiday worldwide. You're absolutely right. Earth Day has helped unite so many people to fight against climate change and clean the environment. Do you think we still have a long way to go despite all the accomplishments environmental activists have achieved? Of course. Although we have come a long way, there is still more to improve upon. We can start by adding more regulations and finding ways to switch from fossil fuels to renewable energy to fuel our vehicles. We can also make public transport systems better quality so that more people can rely on them instead of driving their cars and emitting pollution. Although this is a lot of money and it will take a lot of time, if the government representatives fought for climate change, the effects of climate change would be drastically decreased. Why do you think that the government leaders aren't doing as much as you think they should be doing? Well, from their perspective, they would rather use the money on other things such as improving trade relations and relationships between other countries. While this is also important, fighting for climate change is equally important. They do not put climate change as equal to the other matters when it should be equal. Government officials would rather budget their money focusing on other needs than climate change. I do not agree with their viewpoint, but hopefully they will realize that climate change is important and start to do more things to help fight against climate change. 
I agree. Although that the leaders are hopefully trying to do its best for the country, climate change isn't something that can just be pushed around. It is very important as well. In my opinion, I believe that without the help of the environmental activists in the past, we would not be where we are today. Thankfully, although we are not in a stable position, we are far better than where we began. As citizens, we should continue to spread awareness about climate change and continue what the environmental activists in the past have started to make a difference. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Although there are many things being done to fight against climate change, there are things you can do as a citizen. You can write letters to your representatives and spread awareness through protesting and posting on social media. With your help, you can make a difference and get government leaders to pass laws to help fight against climate change, and the earth will become a better place. You are the future, and the world needs you.